again and welcome to another episode of Telescope Man. Well, we've uh, redone the shack a little bit since the last time you saw it. I think it's been about a year since I actually did a video of the equipment in the shack. So since then, I've uh, had a fella build this desk for me. I'm going to show it to you. It's got some pretty unique features in it. For instance, the panels that are underneath the desk all drop down and then you have full access to all the cables and plugs and uh, power strips or whatever else is uh, behind the panels. So, uh, but they hide all the wires. You really can't see very many wires. You see a few, but not, not very many. I've also gone to uh, two monitor setup. Uh, I took down one of the booms. I still uh, use this boom with the flex radio that's right here. And uh, so this mic, it's a Heil uh, PR781, and it's connected up to the flex radio. Uh, up on the screen right now, you can see I'm running the flex. I'm tuned to 14.076 and listening to some uh, JT65 signals. And it's decoding them right up here. Uh, I don't know if the resolution is going to be good enough for you to actually make those out, but uh, the flex is decoding, running JT65 in one screen and the flex uh, control panel in another screen. You can also see I have DX view up which controls my digital rotor controller. So I can look up a call sign in uh, DX view and just click short path or long path and it automatically rotates my uh, beam antenna which is a Mosley 33 Classic up about 40 feet on a tower behind the house. Uh, all the coax comes in through this window. As I've shown you before, there's a pass-through panel there. Just a regular MFJ pass-through panel. And all the coax comes in there. There's still that uh, ground rod real close to this window right outside not two or three feet away from the window. So I always have a great ground. I am using a single point ground. So all these various pieces of equipment, which I'm going to show you in a minute, they each have individual braid uh, grounding straps that all wind up right here behind the desk and they all come to one point and uh, then that point goes directly to the ground rod which is just a couple of three feet away. As I've told you before I used to have RF in the shack. Once I did the single point ground using, using some, uh, and I usually use half inch braid, uh, <coughs> I could have used copper strap of course but the braid's a whole lot cheaper. Works just about as well for what I'm using it for. Uh, for RF ground. So I'm using half inch uh, with this, these pieces of equipment and then I've got a one inch piece that goes straight out to the ground rod that all this equipment is attached to. How do I do that? It's real simple. I just punched holes in the braid uh, and I have a long uh, stainless steel boat with a big washer and a wing nut and just basically compressed all the various braids into one spot there. Uh, so they should be well grounded. I'm going to kind of get behind the camera now and kind of go around and show you uh, what I've done to the shack. I know you can see the two monitors working, but there's some other things that are kind of unique to this desk that I want to show you. So I'm going to get behind the camera and pick up the video there. Okay, so uh, if we start over here on the left, uh, 
you can see I've got a little bitty uh, Acer Aspire on the corner of the desk and I'm actually installing Windows 10 on it right now while I'm doing the video uh, normally that laptop is out in the garage attached to my emergency station and uh, but I'm trying to get it upgraded to Windows 10 all the other computers in the shack and all the other computers that I own are now running Windows 10 and I gotta tell you that it runs every piece of uh, ham radio software that I can throw at it including the flex radio with power SDR so I hadn't had a bit of trouble the little screen that you see on the second shelf uh, is actually attached to the uh, ICOM 7000 which is running right there let's see if I can get it in a little bit yep right there and that gives me a great big screen where I can uh, actually see uh, you know the the frequency and some of the settings uh, pretty neat it's just scanning right now for signals and I've got the volume turned down and there's that great 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 Akai M10 reel-to-reel uh, -reel tape and uh, still works great and next to it is my uh, amplifier ALS 600 uh, no tuner amp type amp puts out about 600 watts and uh, normally run at three or four hundred watts and of course there's the two monitors Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you I don't know what kind of resolution you're getting right now but there's the flex and there's JT65 running with ham clock uh, on the bottom and uh, DXVU on the right hand side and of course there's the boom and there's just a little toy I got off of uh, out of a magazine I saw Gordon uh, Gordo uh, on Ham Nation had one of these uh, little uh, voice activated uh, uh, neon lights and I figured I had to have one <laughs> along with him anyway uh, I got a TV set of course in the corner and there's the old Halicrafter receiver over on the left hand side and then there's a couple of handy talkies one of them's a Wusan the other one's a Bofing on the desk below let me kind of adjust this just a little bit you can see my Collins setup with the 30L1 and the 516 power supply and speaker and of course the KWM2 all of them working great I use a uh, little uh, heat kit uh, SWR power meter that I've got attached to it just so I can keep an eye on it and there are the two power supplies in the shack and now of course you're looking at the flex along with the uh, high gain digital uh, antenna controller and the manual tuner can't say enough about that one I've got some previous videos on it ICOM 7000 and I went on and set me up a little soldering station over on the right hand side normally that little laptop is not there and I can do some uh, simple soldering right here in the shack so if you look under the desk you can see he built me in a uh, keyboard tray with a mouse tray let me kind of pull that out for you so that it doesn't take up any desk space so pretty neat little addition right there and let's just drop down a little bit and then of course the main computer is down here on the floor and what I'm using to run all this is in kind of a three-year-old HP uh, desktop uh, running an AMD quad core with six gig of memory that's what's running all this now you can see the panels and you can see my power strips down there that I actually did that on purpose so I could just reach down there and turn the power off uh, if I needed to 
so they're kind of sticking out underneath the desk but that panel that you see above there that's removable and you can pull that out and get to all the wires in fact um, <clears throat> All the panels are removable. The one under there, the one way over here behind the speakers, these are all removable. So you can actually reach the wall uh, and get to anything you want to get to and run more cables if you want to, or adjust them, or strap them, or do whatever you want to do once you pull the panels out. That was kind of neat. Now let me uh, pause the video again and uh, I want to show you where he cut some slots in the top of the desk so that you could run the cables through. I'm going to try for a close-up shot. Yeah, so if you're looking behind the rotor controller, you would notice that there's a slot back there that all the wires can run through and they go down behind the panel into a 3 inch channel and then they go wherever they need to go uh, behind the panel so the panel doesn't interfere with uh, uh, actually running cables at all uh, the desk has these kind of slots in it uh, every few feet and so you can run cables directly out of the back of the equipment and down through the top of the desk I do want to show you the covering he put on it. It's really nice, uh, kind of a granite looking uh, uh, laminate. We did pick out a pretty nice one and it uh, complements, I think pretty well, the mostly black and dark colored uh, equipment. So with that said, I'll give you one last shot of it back up a little bit give you one last shot of the shack so you kind of get an idea I'll back way up here and kind of do a little pan around see as you can see the desk takes up basically the entire wall and half of the uh, adjoining wall works real well I'm really happy with it and uh, kind of waited about a year to do this but finally got it done anyway as I usually do I wish you clear skies in 73 and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night y'all be good see y'all later